Well, I am an admirer of Elisa. Elisa has even worked for me, and the fact is, is that she is talented. Is it called Carmen and Friends? Carmen and Friends. Carmen. <laughs> but oh. if Carmen. You're saying like not to do that? Yeah, wait, wait. I actually have <laughs> watched a few hours of the Kermit and Friends. <laughs> How many hours have you watched, Natalie? Oh, no. <laughs> Probably indulged in eight hours. Holy. Uh, my <laughs> wife and I uh, watched um, uh, Benji's ex uh, girlfriends or whatever's going on. We watched this crazy podcast, and I am. I have to say. This is one of the, probably in the top five things I think about right now. She has a podcast, but she gets to come on the radio. It is craziness <laughs> oh, upon craziness. I see that face coming back to me like an old familiar song. What better place could anyone be? Cause you're here with me. It's all I've been looking for and so much more. And now I'm here. Yeah. Now you're here. Nothing can go wrong cause I am right where I belong. No, they cannot watch the show from backstage. That's it. That's what's been missing from the show. That's what we need. More frogs and dogs and bears and chickens and, and whatever. You're not going to watch the show. You're going to be in the show. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Kermit and Friends. I'm Elisa. This is Fozzie, and Kermit is watching from heaven. As you can see, I have a new place. I have a new place, and it's new, and I am not confident in it at all whatsoever. <laughs> it is pretty big, and we are very small in it. That's how I feel right now. When I was uh, moving, like, you know, I hired this moving company. I went to work, and I just hired a moving company. I said, just do whatever you want with my stuff. Just do whatever you want. I only have like three valuables. My one valuable is, you know, Kermit's ashes. My other valuable is this book that I wrote about Kermit. 
And then my third valuable was, um, you know, the KAF sign that Wheezy made for me. And then, of course, another valuable is this cup, this Chumpsters and Conservatives cup <laughs> from Bob. <laughs> so I had to make sure I brought that with me. So that made it. Uh, but yeah, I just told the movers, please, you know, I don't care if you break things, just like hurry up. Don't, don't be slow about it. Don't be slow and break things. I don't really care about any of my things that I have. And I, oh, there's an echo. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Okay. How bad is my echo in my new place? Is it really well, bad? it's, I can't tell if it's a room echo or if it's through mic settings, but it is quite different than usual. Yeah. It's not like we can hear you twice. We can hear you're in a bigger room, maybe. That's what it is. So how do you fix that? I'm not sure if the microphone is picking, if your right microphone's picking up, but I, it's hard for me to tell. Is this microphone the right microphone? Does that sound better? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're having technical difficulties already in we my are. new place. Yeah, I mean, we can hear you, though. It's not <laughs> unlistenable at all. It's just, it's, it's just not. maybe maybe it could be the room. Okay. But I love so, that you have a new place. I That is good. That is the good part. I could do this from my office. It is true. I considered doing that. Instead of doing it here, I considered doing it across the street in my office. I might do that. But we are in luck today. The reason why we are in luck is because I have a lot of backup. Because I knew something might go wrong. I knew it. Because I said, this is a really big place. It has high ceilings. It's a huge room. There might be a problem. And I know you have to leave early today. Anyway, what does Wheezy do on a Sunday? Well, I have family in town, and so I was going to show them around, and they're coming in right around the time of the wrap-up show. And so I was going to do a shorter wrap-up show today, and then I was going to show them all the sites. Oh, what are what kind of sites are? Well, actually, don't tell me. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, Bob's watching. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell anybody what kind of sites uh, there are. Okay, so let's um, just take a little second um, for me to go backstage and bring on our special musical guest. Our reoccurring musical guest every week is here to back me up. His name is Wappy. He's going to be incredible today. And here he is covering Nirvana. I'm on my town with everyone. I have very bad posture. Uh, Nirvana right there. Penny Wappy, Royalty. that was so amazing. I love what you played there. You are incredible. Okay. I switched my microphone. We should be all good. Uh, let's bring on um, the person that actually gifted me the Trumpster and Conservatives Cup, T-Bob. T-Bob, uh, welcome to Kerman and Friends. How have you been? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. I, you know, I'm in this new place. I'm not confident in it at all. Like, I just feel weird. Uh, it's just, it, I don't like change really. Like I know change is good for me, but I get so scared and freaked out. I saw a spider when I moved in and I was not happy about that. I saw a spider. I saw a lot of things wrong and I just started to feel like, oh my God, I'm alone here. 
So it's it's scary sometimes. You ever get scared of you know doing adult things, um, Bob? No. No. Most spiders will not bite you. I mean, you got to catch them by surprise and just spray them with the spider spray and kill them if there's too many of them. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're not no, scared no. of spiders. If you like stay I away am. from spiders and don't attack them, they will not bite you. Okay. All right. What do you think of my new place? Do you like it? I like it. But, you, you know, if you want to get rid of the uh, sound and make the sound better, you got you to gotta put carpet in there and maybe do some sound acoustics uh, right. protection. And it will totally do away with your echo. Well, okay, so what I'm going to do is I think not, I might do not just carpet, but you need, with the wood floor, you need at least two to three layers of of that, that foam that they put down in there, or some really thick okay, foam. Okay, Bob, let's talk about this later. Right now, I want to talk about you texting me 82 times. 82 times one in a night. row. Only one night, only one night, and you should have answered me to begin with instead of uh, uh, just not answering me. You had plenty of time you could answer the one question and you would not answer it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play um, some of your voicemails and read some of your text messages. Yeah, go um, ahead. Okay, so so there's so many. Okay, so let's let's scroll up all the way to the top. Um, okay. Why not just cut it clean and say, uh, how many times have you had sex with Weezy? He said you were engaged and he's been fucking you for years and it's because of him that, that your name was changed to Swartz. I mean, that's not your birth name. Swartz is not your birth name. So what Swartz did you marry to get that name? And if it wasn't Wheezy, then who was it? Wheezy's name's Charles Swartz. That's his fucking name. He's a piece of shit, little faggot ass bitch you can find in LGBTQ pics all over the fucking internet with all kinds of men. I got a picture of him taking a picture of like, what, 15 men at a gay bash? And he says he's engaged to you? Did he fuck you on a regular basis? This is what Weezy is saying about you. And my entire alignment for that entire night was asking you, are you engaged to Weezy? But why would you text me 80 times to ask that question, Bob? And because if you're engaged to Weezy, I don't want to ever fucking know you have anything to do with you. Have you ever had sex with that fucking age carrying little prick? But why do you care, like, who I had sex with? Like, I don't care who you've had sex with, and I doubt I'd be impressed. So why do you care who I have sex oh, with? Oh, you would be impressed. I promise you that. All right. Well, I hope you're nice to Wheezy today because... No, nope, not going to be. He's coming on? Okay, see you later. I'm off the show. All right. So, you know, I don't really like respond to threats or mean voicemails. I'm going to play you guys some of Bob's voicemails that he left me here. recording you can play on your live stream. Why don't you just give me a few answers? You know, I deserve that much. You're the one that made yourself hate me. You're the one that always caused the problems here, not me. And now you throw this shit in my face like this. I think I deserve a few answers, don't you? So, like, Bob's basically fighting with himself. Um, I'm not part of that, you know, fight. I don't feel upset at Bob. Like, I feel nothing about this situation, Bruce. Um, I feel bad for you. You feel bad for me? Yeah, I feel bad. I mean, I don't feel that bad for me because I, I didn't really notice until I saw I had all those missed calls. And, you know, he just is, like, making up some story about Wheezy. And I think he's jealous of Wheezy because Wheezy's the co-host and he's the, um, you know, host of the wrap-up show. So he might be, like, very jealous of that. And that's the only thing I can really come up with. Uh, besides that, I don't understand, you know, why be upset with Wheezy. He's the nicest guy here. Yeah. I, listen, I like Bob. I don't like, you know, obviously I don't like what's uh, been happening to you. It's not right. Um, you shouldn't be accused of, uh, you know, a sexual ring. For one, you would be arrested if you were. So, at least that's great to to come back. Uh, I never had a problem with you. I really like you a lot. I, I just want you to know that. And you know, why I'm did sorry. you leave, Bruce? Why did you leave the show? Why I, did you leave? I just got tired. I just got tired of of the the attacks, like. It's constant, like, you know, it's just t the attacks. Like, I tried to come in being nice, and then it's just, like, people didn't like that. So you didn't like texts? That's your problem? You don't like any texts? 
it's not about the text. I just, it's just, it's just like, look what's happening to you. Look what's happened to other people. It's like constant, like, uh, doxing and stuff. Like, it's just, I'm just not into that. Okay, so I don't dox. There's a very few, like, it's a small portion of people that dox. You know, it's the bad people, and you just avoid those people. Um, well, exactly. So was it just too much for you? Do you think you'll be able to stay? Yeah, I can stay. Okay, you can stay. Okay, great. All right, terrific. So I just, I just want to say this. I, I, I'm just, I'm happy. I, I would like to be a friend. You've been nice to me. Um, I can't come out here and say uh, what I was going to say, uh, but I just want to say this, like, I hope that you find somebody that, that will care, will be caring and loving uh, to you and respect you. Um, but, you know, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm just not going to say what I said. I'm just not going to do that. You're, what do you you're mean, a woman. What does that mean? Well, I want, I, okay, listen, I, I just, I, I was going to, I was playing, playing in the game like type thing. I was going to ask if you would marry me. And I, you know, like, I just, I can't do that. I can't wait, do that. Wait, would you marry I, me? Would you marry me? You won't marry Bob? Like right now? Lisa George, would you marry me? I mean, Bruce, you just came back. You, were, you weren't even here. I, I don't know where you were. Like, you were gone. I, I don't even know you, really. Oh, okay. Well, right? I can accept that. I can accept that. I can accept that. And I'm not going to be mad about it. Yeah. Like, we don't know each other, so we shouldn't be mad. Actually, maybe that's better. Okay. So, if you have a question for Bruce or for me or anybody on this show, uh, please call in. Okay, please call in and, and, and let your opinion be known. Um, Bruce, when you were gone, was that what you were thinking? Were you thinking, oh, you know, I want to be, do you want to be married to someone? And you just, I was the easiest person because I have Kermit and friends? No, it wasn't, no, it wasn't that. No? No. I just, I just think you're a wonderful person. But we never talk. Well, I don't have, I don't like want to bother you like 24 seven. I'm just not no, one of those no, people. But we either. literally never talk, like never. Okay. Like, don't, don't you want to talk to the person? You to to you. Yes, you do. You're right. I do. Okay. I'll call you. No. Um, but if you were, if you were to propose to somebody, it should be somebody that you probably talk to and somebody, you know, let me just get this caller. Uh, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Alisa, this is, Donovan John, you've got a ditch this loser and come for a hike with me. This guy's nothing but a troll. Alisa, just come on a hike with me and marry me. Marry Stutter and John. Oh, okay. Tell him to go to the hike. So, so you 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 think he's a troll? You think he's just trolling me? That's interesting. Okay, so you think wow. he's not real? Okay. He's not real. He's a troll. Alisa, come on a hike with me. I'll give you a massage too. I have a cruise light. Beer can chicken. We can do it all, Elisa. A power couple. Yes, yes, yes. Another person that I don't really talk to wants to marry me. Isn't that funny? All the people I talk to don't want to marry me, oddly. But all the people that I don't know. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Nice guy. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, Bruce, you seem like a good person. I mean, I know you were interested in Charmin at one point. Did that not work out? No, and that's just because, like, well, she obviously wasn't around when I did, but I came back and... I did apologize to, to Wheezy and Bob and, and yeah. the people that I lied to. I was wrong. Uh, it was a tension. I felt bad, you know. Uh, I took time away, and I was, you know, eventually I was going to come back, and I was just going to say, because what I did was wrong to Charmin, to Bob, to Wheezy, and to anybody that, that I had lied to, and that's everybody. So didn't so that I felt make you bad. feel weird, though? Didn't that make you feel weird, no, like, ask, does, asking... But... It does. Yeah. Makes you feel weird, but guess what? I felt bad. I was wrong. Uh, you know, and I am sorry for, for what I did. And it was unacceptable. But at least I came back. At least I tried to amends. If people don't want to accept it, then oh well. 
All right. Seems like a good contender for marriage. Uh, let's talk to this guy. Maybe he's better. His name is uh, subscribe to Jay Redden TV. That's his name. Wow. Okay. So, uh, What's up? Hey Jay. Um, so, uh, oh. what, what brings you on Kermit and friends today? Are you also, you know, a single I want, guy? I want, I want to talk about this Bob situation because I, um, the marriage thing and him being in love with you, I've been in that situation where I loved the girl so much, I got arrested for it twice. What do you mean? Well, what he's trying to pull off on you, like he's trying to say he wants to marry you and he's in love with you, but that you're in love with him, but you're not. Yeah. So, like, it's it's that situation where, like, you're the female. You should be calling the cops saying, you know what? He should be locked up for harassing me. Well, you think Bob should be here? Uh, who do you think should be locked up? Bob? Trumpster Bob? Yeah, because he's harassing you, isn't he? Well, Bob, like, is... Like, I got to the same <laughs> way. Shut the fuck up, you dweeb motherfucker. You're not helping me none. Well, look, I'm like. Here's, I, the deal. here's the deal. I got it mad at Elisa over what Wheezy was saying. And what I'm gathering is none of what Wheezy's saying is actually true. So Wheezy is the one bad naming her, turning her into an all out fucking slut, fucking nothing but a bunch of fucking bisexual sex party freaks at gay bashes. I mean, what the fuck you expect for a guy like me to think? Wheezy's popping in here saying he's engaged to her. And then he he had motherfucking wits in, who I really know who the fuck he is. He's lies. All lies. I never said hey, any shut of that. The fuck up, you no, fucking I will bitch. not. I will beat your fucking no, you ass in. I will you fucking hurt you, motherfucker. You won't, Bob. You won't do anything. Anyway, You're just an old man liar. liar. We said he had orgies with 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 her. Show me. Show us Weezy, where I said that. Weezy had wits, and what do you think he popped in here? He don't want this Show truth us where you out. said that. Weezy Bob. had wits in sending me a picture with him at a gay bash, taking a picture of all of the gay men that he fucked. It was like 20 or 30 Bob, are you jealous picture. of me? And it was said that they're passing around Elisa one to another to another like she's a rag doll little bitch. Let me ask Elisa, do you believe in And Elisa loves anything? Weezy? No. And Weezy's doing this shit to her? Why the Weezy. fuck else would I be mad at you, Elisa? You're mad at me because you're jealous. That's no, why. I'm, not, I'm not jealous. You asked her to I'm marry you last I've week. I've never fucking loved Elisa. You asked her to marry last week. You did not yeah, ask her to marry her. Yeah, it was a joke. It was for the show. You cried on camera. Bullshit. I wanted to see what your What kind of joke react? is you crying on camera? It what pissed you off, Weezy? What got you fucking jealous? It wasn't you. the flowers. Weezy. You were jealous. No, no. No, no. You, shut up. Let me one. talk. Let me talk. He does this all the time. He won't shut up. Weezy, it wasn't the fact that I sent her those beautiful flowers to a beautiful woman, knowing that her favorite color is pink. Why the fuck would I send her pink? Uh, Why would you send her flowers and, and red, ask her to marry Weezy, when, when I already old... know her favorite color is pink? You dumb motherfucker! If I love her, I would I send her pink that you're saying. roses instead of red and white roses. Or a you have zero point zero pink. evidence. Weezy, I sent her the note. The note gave her the name Elisa Jones, and Elisa Jordana Jones does have a good ring to it. But that is what fucking pissed you off. You're in love with Nothing her? Else. You're in love with her? She no, said no. no. So no, you've been not. after me because I'm the co-host. We never talk. Elisa, do we talk? Reason. You're so jealous of me, Bob. Elisa, how many times have we talked? I do okay. think you're jealous. Elisa, have we ever talked about anything outside of your show? Ever? I don't remember, but I'm getting a caller. Let me just get this call, okay? Just uh, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Hi. Uh, I just wanted to say that uh, that Bruce... He's more of a man. It takes a, it takes a special kind of man to say, you know what? I screwed up. I was wrong. He got over it. Hopefully, he'll move on. Hopefully, people will see that he was sincere. Bob, on the other hand, has never done that. He doubles down on everything. He says horrible things about you. He says horrible things about Weezy, who's never been anything but kind. Right. And I would like to point out there was once – there was something that I wanted to do because I thought Bob was making you some puppets. You uh, said it was sweet of me. I never once had the urge to marry you. I was just happy to be able to contribute in some way. That is so nice. Uh, that's really nice. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't know. I just want everybody to have fun. 
And I am excited when people are friends and they get along and they talk and they do shows together. Um, you know, Wheezy, he's in a tough position because he's co-host and he's host of the wrap-up show. And a lot of people like that show. So even though that's a really great thing for him, and I think he can meet lots of friends through that, um, the problem is, is that uh, there's some very heavy jealousy that comes along with that. And he's just going to have to be like really strong and he's going to have to, um, you know, get past other people's feelings because no matter what other people say or other people do or people are acting out, it doesn't really matter because if Wheezy's just Wheezy and he doesn't let these other people affect him, he's going to, you know, he's going to kill. Everybody's going to love him. He's going to have an incredible show, you know, every week and every time that he streams, he's amazing. It's just the only problem is the other people. It's the other people. It's not him. That's the problem. And, and it doesn't matter, you know, what people think of you or what they say about you or, you know, what they say your downfalls are, or they, they're accusing you of this or that, you know who you are. And, and Weezy knows who he is. And if he's strong, he can get through this hard time with Bob and the rest of the Bob hate group. It's actually Bob. That's the hate group. It's not anybody else. And I, I believe that uh, the Kermitarian people are strong enough to get past anything negative. So, you know, if you see something negative, if you notice something, somebody saying something or spreading uh, misinformation, you just ignore that and you go on with what you feel is right. You know, you're just you, no matter what anybody says or, or how they feel, it has nothing to do with you, how they feel. It's, it's Bob's experience. That's where he's coming from. That's why he texted me 82 times. That's why he left me all those voice messages. It's because of him, his life experience, what he's created, what he has manifested is a complete disaster. And that has no effect of who Wheezy is, no matter what he thinks of him. It doesn't change anything about Wheezy. It doesn't make him any worse. You know, it doesn't make him into something. He is who he is, regardless of what Bob thinks. And he's strong. And we have to be strong here in life and on Kermit and Friends. So even not on Kermit and Friends, this will happen. You know, this will happen in your office where you work. This will happen in dating. You know, you can't control if you go on a date with somebody and they like you or not. You cannot control that whatsoever. You can't. So you just have to know that, wow, I'm incredible. I'm amazing. If they don't see that, it's their loss. True. Thank you, Lisa. My pleasure. My pleasure, Peter. Yeah, I really believe that, like, very, very strongly. So, um, you know, no matter what people say about Wheezy or, you know, he has any kind of problem with Bob or whoever else, it does not matter. It does not, 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 not matter. It does not matter at all. All that matters is what Wheezy thinks of himself, what he thinks of what he's doing, you know, how strong he is in his opinions. And, 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 and Charmin, like when you're running for president, people are going to come against you. People are going to troll you. They're going to make your life miserable. They're going to do everything to take you down. You know, do you feel similar to me? And it doesn't matter, you know, what everybody else says. It, it's your mission. It's what you stand behind. That's what's important. Well, I do, but you still have to address the haters, right? Especially when they're going after your fans and preventing you from being successful, mm -hmm. right? That's okay. something that I've been dealing with for a couple of years now with my campaign manager who's deliberately trying to destroy my life and everything that comes into contact with me. Right. 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 And we've dealt with some of those problems here because I brought that here and we've been having issues with that. Super happy to see Bruce back. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if Bruce is like well right now because he asked me to marry him and we have no relationship. I don't think he's been well from the beginning. I think he's attached to Zarina. I found his return to our, di to our Discord and to our chat environment to be unique timing after somebody came back to my house and left me a nasty message. I think it's connected. I think it's time we need to do something about the dangerous people. Like what? Like what, what do you think we should do? They, they, we need to block them and get them out of our lives. 82 text messages from Bob and one night when he gets on here and says the most insulting things about you. The crap that came out of his mouth today has been some of the worst shit I've heard from Bob in the year that I've been here. He has lost his mind and he'll say any nasty thing possible and he'll send nasty people to you and he knows where you live or he he can find you where you live and all your family and he will terrorize all of them for fun and enjoyment. 
right? There's a group of people who like to act like that and they like to work together to terrorize good, honest people that just care about putting decency into the world. There has to be consequences for those type of people. Okay, so what should the consequences be, though? What should I do? What, what exactly should I do? I, I think immediately you, you should start blocking some of these people. They're actively working to take down your show, right? Um, House of Petty, who was on here a couple of weeks ago and had an episode taken down, came with Zarina Hameen to the Discord chat to destroy me. Wits sent him to you as somebody to come on the show based off of his TikTok profile, uh, Muscles and Nursing. But he is one of Zarina Hameen's plants. And he came in here. She is deliberately picking off anything that brings me any joy. Coach Love's channel was taken down this week on a yeah, day. What's up with that? What is that? That is a next level attack. She has not ever had a strike or even a warning. She put out this notice that she was building up to her big 400 and we were all excited about her followers. And we were all excited about this big Tantra show that she was going to have on. And her show was terminated that day. And I've spent entirely too much time at Coach Love's having too much fun. And I feel like Coach Love was attacked by Zarina Hameen as a way to get even with me. That Lady Politico show I had had a ton of problems associated with it. Zarina has reactivated accounts since then that she has used to terrorize me and she has sent people to my house. And I think Bruce is attached to that. There's several people in this community that I believe are directly attached to her. And these threats of violence, these nasty things they're saying, that's not where it's going to end. She has sent people to my house before and it is a safety issue. I do not enjoy it either. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to do something about this. Um, let me just get this caller. Uh, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Hey, Elisa, it's Thunder and John again. I'm just wondering if maybe Shaman wants to meet me at the Pickwick pub and I buy her a bike to cool his light and maybe we can go back to my apartment and shag. Are you a big Stuttering John fan? I am Stuttering John. Okay, because I really don't understand that. I, I really don't, but I appreciate that you like someone, but why him? Because Stuttering John, I'm not me, myself, I'm just such a nice guy, and I love it when you talk about me on your show. Oh, okay. All right, all right, John. All right, thanks for calling in. You're a very uh, interesting guy. Um... All right. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to hang up and go to, um, oh shoot. She just uh, left. Okay. So this show is supposed to be about, um, this person that came on here and her name is Albert Einstein. And I was going to read this bio about her, but she's not here. So I, I want to wait until she is here. Um, okay. But for right now, let's listen to another song by Wappy. I'm not like them. And I can pretend the sun is gone, that I have a light. The day is done, that I'm having fun. I think I'm dumb, but maybe just happy. I think I'm just happy. Maybe just happy. I think I'm just happy. My heart is broke, but I have some glue. Help me inhale, and then here with you. We'll float around, hang out on clouds. Then we'll come down, we'll have a hangover. We'll have a hangover. We'll have a hangover. We'll have a hangover. In the sun, fall asleep, wish away, the soul is cheap, lesson learn, wish me love, soothe the burn, wake me up, I'm not a film, and I can pretend, 
The sun is gone, and I have a light. The day is done, and I'm having fun. I think I'm done, maybe just happy. I think I'm just happy. Maybe just happy. I think I'm just happy. And that was Nirvana, dumb. I'm sure you guys heard that from their unplugged. Okay, how? What a treat! What a treat is that? Um, another treat we have is we have a caller that you'll recognize. Uh, Carmen and friends, how can I help you? Hi, Lisa. How you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Okay. All right. Um, so, I, and I really haven't been paying a whole lot of attention because we've been really busy, but I heard Bob threatened to kill you and Shamrock and Wheezy, and I think Rob, is that true? Okay, threatened to kill. That's an interesting thing. Um, uh, so did Bob threaten to kill? I actually don't remember. Um, it's possible that he threatened to kill me, but I just had such a busy week with my move and like the movers. Um, so I have to ask him. Um, listen, you well, know, I mean, okay. that was kind of concerning to me. Yeah, yeah. So you're worried that Bob's going to kill me? Is that what you're saying? Well, you know, I, I don't really know, but that just to make that threat is a felony, and with his criminal record, um, the police would take that very seriously. I, you really don't know with Bob. He's just he's, he appears to be a little crazy. So, I mean. I don't know, but any, anybody that's that meets the threshold for uh, a felony as far as um, if the threat is on social media or voicemail or a text, uh, anybody who was threatened can uh, have him charged. So if you didn't know that. So do you think I should have Bob charged? That's what you think? Well, unless unless you are OK with him threatening to kill you, that's what I would do. All right, I'll ask him if he's going to kill me or not. Uh, just hold on one second. Thank you, John. Thank you for calling in. Okay, okay thank you. All right, let me just ask him. Okay, so Bob's still here. Bob, are you going to kill me? Um... <laughs> John is the biggest fucking drunk fucking idiot. <laughs> I challenge any motherfucker to charge me, but one thing's a fact. John is such a goddamn pussy. He won't even meet me face to face. He's such a fucking coward. <laughs> oh, I threatened to kill her, Lisa. What the fuck I want to kill her for? That's dumb. There's some reasons. Okay, so let's watch this video. Oh, this there are some reasons? Wait a minute. What are those reasons? Because you're so mad at me because of Wheezy. You're mad I'm at us. Mad I don't at know you. why. I, I'm not mad at you. All right, what let's makes watch you think I'm mad at you? I'm only mad at you because you sided up with all these fucking haters and then you call me the hater. Rob has been working with Wheezy since day motherfucking one. And I got the goddamn fucking text to prove it, bitch. You have allowed these motherfuckers to attack me since the goddamn past ten fucking months have been up. Now that I'm a little upset with you about. You have intentionally brought me into your fucking Discord to allow them motherfuckers to ambush me, and I still make them look fucking stupid. But the fact is, Wheezy is a piece of shit, bisexual little slut tramp, carrying more STDs on the goddamn planet than any motherfucker known to mankind. You're I slandering Wheezy right now, Bob. You're slandering Wheezy. I don't like that. He says he's had sex with you, and he's having sex with never you. You're asking him to change the swords. His last name is Schwartz. You gonna tell me that you were never married to fucking Wheezy? How did you get your last name changed to Schwartz? Okay, uh, Bob, let's just watch this very heartwarming no, video. Wait a minute, that... wait a minute, wait a minute. You, your last name is Aduru. Your family is from India. How the fuck did you get the married name Swartz. Who did you marry to get Swartz if it ain't Wheezy? Because that's his last name. Uh, Charles Schwartz. Charles Justin Swartz, to be exact. 
Bob, where do you get your information from? None of this information is true. So I'm just curious. Oh, it's, like, fact. Right? it's fact. It's all fact. You know, I'll tell you how I get it. Let, let me tell you. When, whenever I take your uh, Twitter page and I take the address from the address bar, and I put it up on Ben Verified or any of the, and I'm not using Ben Verified. I'm using one much better than them. But if I use one like any of them, and only one potential owner comes up, and that is your fucking name, that's you. That ain't no fuck up. That's you. And I found all of your fucking records. If I'm interested in you, do you not think I'm going to look you up? I know that your last name is not Schwartz by birth. It's it's a, a Buru. And, and your family, at least half of your family, is from India. And I'm good with that. That explains your good looks and your beautiful eyes and all of that. But Wait, the reality you, you is, think I'm you're not going to sit here and tell me I'm a fucking liar when you know that I'm, I'm telling the truth. How did you get the last name Swartz? Who did you marry if it wasn't Wheezy? And what the fuck is Wheezy doing on your show when he's doing nothing but fucking up your show? You got a quarter of the people watching this show right now today that ever you should have be watching. And Wheezy has fucked up your Discord 100%. Every goddamn day, he's so obsessed with attacking me. Who do you fucking think is jealous of who? After months of being attacked by goddamn Wheezy and Rob, team playing together, butt buddy, and on the phone together, how are we going to piss him off today? I finally start fighting back with these fuckers, and you accuse me of being a goddamn stalker? Fuck you, motherfuckers. I will beat Wheezy's ass in the day I fucking meet that motherfucker, and you can call all the goddamn cops you want. I will break his fucking legs, bitch. And the same goddamn thing goes for a goddamn Rob faggot ass Haven, and that's not even his real name. You want to know his fucking real name is Murphy. Kermit and friends, how can I help you? And he is related to Dumpster Rick. Attacks against him by Wheezy are so relentless. I personally witnessed the most vile string of personal attacks. Now that's a threat. Well, you call a fucking cop. I ain't gonna break your fucking legs by me. Wait, wait, wait. Just a fucking time. Room. And Wheezy was good natured about it, basically knowing that, you know, nothing's gonna come of it. There you go, John. Call a okay. cop. Oh, no, this is Peter. This is not John. This is Peter. Peter saying that he was attacked by you too, Bob. Why? Why are you doing this to everybody? Let me tell you I something about attack. Peter. Peter came in there attacking me, calling me a rapist and a, a pedophile and all these fucking lies. They got no proof of none of that. And Peter, day after day after day, was taking it for weasel. Okay, you have to be one at a time talking right now. Bobby. ass bitch who's admitted to having sex outside of her marriage. Shamrock. Wait, what'd you say, Peter? He people are not against him. He is attacking people. He went after. No, I'm not attacking you, Peter. You attack me. I agree with Peter. You attack me. I got no I agree reason with Peter. I'm sorry. You, Peter. I'm sorry. I, I say I agree with Peter. Bob, I think Peter's right. You're attacking people. You're obviously very unhappy right oh, now. Oh, so what? Wait a minute. What you're saying is it's okay if people attack me every day, week after week, month after month. It's okay with the most disgusting attacks on me. Ever. You're not letting Peter. That's okay. I should be nice to those people. I should buy Peter a goddamn fucking cake and send it to his faggot dick sucking ass. Is that what you're saying? Uh, Let me tell you something, Peter. If you see me face to face, are you going to say any fucking thing you ever said about me on the internet? Okay, let Peter speak because I, I think he's on to something, Peter. Beat your fucking ass in, motherfucker. All right, Ask Peter. anybody around where I fucking live. You come at me wrong, I'm beating your fucking ass in, motherfucker. Okay, Peter, I'm going to play a Kermit and Friends clip that's really cute right now that Gaia Paya made, okay? This is really okay. nice. It's heartwarming, okay? So let, so just stay tuned. Um, this is from Leaf King, and he made this about Kermit and Friends. So I'm going to put it on just so we can have a little break, okay? All right, thank you, Peter. Thank you for your call. All right, what a, what a doll. That's a nice guy. Uh, very nice guy. Okay, so this is a video put together uh, by Gaia Paya. I just love it. It's called KAF is Life. Feel free to play it on your wrap-up shows and enjoy. I want to be like attracting incredible people to me. And I don't know if I'm quite there yet, but I know I'm close. Does that make I sense? I get it. Absolutely. Do I, I don't chase, I attract.
really just wanted to ask you a question. Why? Will you marry me? Bob, it's really tough because, you know, you called me a sex trafficker last week. You know, Andy, uh, Andy Dick here, well, you know what, he came into my life at a time when I know? really needed him. And he actually proposed to me this morning. And that sounds like a good option for me, right, Andy? Yes. Yeah. We're in. You're my girl. No, yeah. yeah. I'm going to give you the fattest fucking ring, bitch. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so that sounds great. Also, um, fuck that Andy guy. You know, fuck that guy. You know, Andy yeah, people that preach piece of shitism, you know, want everybody to be a piece of shit with them. You know, well, we need to be preaching Judaism, the way of God. You know what I'm saying? If you ask the Hell's Angels, what do you believe in? They believe in God, not pieces of shit like you, Andy. Chicken soup means, you know, when you fool around with a man, chicken soup. So instead of saying, pluck if you know what i mean by f i say chicken soup so i want to go chicken soup that guy i'm and gonna chicken, chicken soup the fuck out of you so you know so what happened was joseph <laughs> masturbated to me and he like and then he put it in his thumb inside of me and actually god was god joseph was god so god um he he imparted to joseph and so he he i i, I was a virgin mary and i and i got pregnant off of his semen i don't know i don't know if she wants to be talking to me <laughs> well, I think you're a gaslighter, but what do you got to say, gaslighter? Uh, I'm I'm the master of being gaslit, actually. So he sent me this picture of this dog. Then he sent me a picture of this steak. Hmm. And so I was like, wow, this guy really wants me to know what he's doing. And then the yeah. third picture he sent me, totally unsolicited, totally out of character, totally married guy, sends me this. Oh, my word. Yeah. That is not appropriate. I'm done. Goodbye. You know what? You guys don't want to get you want to get fucking COVID? Go ahead. Huh. So are we gonna resolve anything, Lisa? Like what? Of the disrespect and um, the hurting of me, what you've done, because all you care about is yourself. What'd you think of that, Bob? Pretty cool, right? Bob? Well, I'm on the show. <laughs> okay, look, Elisa, Elisa, for the record, I don't hate you. Does that surprise you? I don't hate you. I know you put me through hell and shit and everything else. Oh, yes, you have. You're going to tell me that you and Rob have never been talking behind the scenes to plot this shit out? There ain't no other way possible for this shit to go on without that happening. Because I know for a fact, I know for a fact that Weezy and Rob have been plotting shit against me for fucking months. Rob admitted it last night to me. You're, you couldn't be more wrong. Bob. No, I couldn't be more accurate. I just, I, I'm it's not doing what you think I'm doing, and I'm just trying to have a good time. And you saw I know that they're playing you. Weezy's playing you. Rob is playing you. Fireman Jack. Hold oh, on, I have to get this call. I have to get this call. Um, hi, Kermit and friends. How can I help you? Andy? You can't help me. Are you okay? No. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? I think I have to go to the hospital. Why? Oh, my lip. Your lip? Yeah. I saw a hunt spray, remember? So, so are you still in bad shape? Huh? Are you still in bad shape? In where? Are you still in bad shape, Andy? Yeah, my lip is like, it's like, I 
I can't even talk. It's split open. Okay, so I want to get you some help. Um, Wappy uh, is near you, my friend Wappy, the musician. And okay. he, he can pick you up, okay? okay? Okay, so tell him where you are. Speak up. I can't hear you. Somebody got me on Oh my God, I really do need to go to the hospital. Um, I am at a What? Andy, I can't hear you. So I, I have to like get out of the somebody else got this room for me. Okay, okay. Can you click on the link that I sent you? So you can talk to Wappy? No. I didn't talk to what? I didn't talk to anyone. I, someone stole my phone too. I think the I think the person that hit me stole my phone. This is my this is my business phone that we're on right now. Oh my god, I'm in such pain. It's like bleeding. Obviously. Oh, okay, so Andy was hurt last night, and we need someone to pick him up. Okay, so he's at a hotel. What's the hotel, Andy? What's it called? Caesar's Palace. Caesar's Palace. Okay. Um. We need somebody to pick up Andy from Caesar's Palace. He was hurt last night, very hurt. I have pictures. And if you could click on the link, people will see how bad it is and they'll, they'll help you. So can you click on the link that I sent you to your text? Okay, I'm gonna hang up, click on that link. Okay, I'm gonna get you the help you need. All right, love you, love you. Yeah. I right, love you. Okay, this is not. A, this is very upsetting, you guys. This is very upsetting. So Andy went to Vegas, worst place for him, worst place possible. Okay, and I called him, and he didn't pick up. And then he sent me this picture, which is really bad. It's. Uh, I don't know if you guys could see this, but it's like, it's blood. Okay, it's a lot of blood. So he got he got fucked up last night. Some people beat him up. So we're going to try to get Wappy to pick up Andy. Okay. So that's what we're doing. And he's at Caesar's palace and he needs help. So we're not kidding. This is not a joke. This is something very serious and I just want people to help him. Okay. So it's Andy. Hopefully he'll click here. If he doesn't, we're still going to send people to him. All right. Okay. So because Weezy has to leave uh, early today and also I have a lot of bad shit going on. Andy, show everybody your face, sweetheart. It hurts. It hurts really bad. Andy, who did this to you? Stranger. Literal stranger. A stranger beat you up for no reason, Andy? Yes. What did they look like? Oh, uh, gangster. Oh my God, that really hurts. I can't even talk. Okay, Andy, I'm going to have Wappy pick you up. Okay, I'm going to have Wappy pick you up. He's a really nice guy. He's right near you. He is. Yes, he's a, he's the best guy. He's sweet. He he's wonderful. He's gonna help you, and I'm gonna do everything in my power to have him help you. Okay. Can he come up to the room? I I don't even want to go out. Wendy Pack. Yes, he can come to the room. One second. Now, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Lisa, did you get my message that I just put up under as backcourt in your uh, YouTube chat? I just put it there. Wendy, I didn't know that was you. Um, what did you say, Wendy? Oh I said God. that Corey is making me 
and my per- my manager and my other manager <laughs> oh, God, getting strong all sorts of lies from about us and enough it is true and you need to get Corey some bad help or something because he will not stop uh making us look bad and we're getting really sick and tired of it and you need to do something with Corey because he is telling all rumors lie and I'm trying to move on with my life and I wish he would move on with his and and stop you know this lying shit about me my manager Bruno Lauren uh my M- Okay, so Wendy, I just want to tell you that you did a 24 hour YouTube show and I'm so proud of you and you did amazing and it doesn't even matter at all what Corey does because you did it. You did something very hard. You did yes, something. I did. Yes, you did. You did it. You could do anything, Wendy, and it really doesn't matter what else is going on. Okay. 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 So you're a superstar. You have so many fans, and I'm so proud of you. And everyone is. Right. So Corey or any other naysayer, it doesn't matter. It's all about them. It does not matter. You okay. are I'm incredible. Keep doing what you want to do, and don't let anybody get in your way. Okay. Okay, I won't. All right. Love you, Wendy. I love you too. Bye. Right, bye. Okay, that was Wendy. Okay, so Andy, how did you end up in Vegas? What? How did you end up in Las Vegas, Andy? Um, um I don't he wanted to go. So I went with him. Okay. And and where are those people now? I don't know. They left you in Caesar's Palace? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And were they there when you got beat up? Andy, were were they there when you got beat up? Yes. It was their friend. Okay. All right. So you, their friend, the people that brought you to Vegas, it was their friend that beat you up like this. Yeah. Okay. But it, but but I think that they I think they just met him. You know what I mean? He's like a stranger. But how did the stranger end up like with you? I, I don't understand how the stranger ended up there beating you up and why. I think that he saw he thought I he thought I I was like wanted to hook up with you know who and i of course never would ever okay. so now guy... I, I hate her look at me oh my god oh my god that's the worst thing i ever saw this is so fucked up andy this is bad this is very bad you cannot be with people like this anymore andy i know this is this is not don't good need to, don't need to be yelled at right now it's really bad it hurts bad. It hurts really bad. It's killing me. Okay, just sit tight. Okay, just sit tight. Um, Wappy. Yes. yes. Um, are you able to pick up Andy after the show? Yeah, yeah, I could do that. Um, the thing is, I don't have a vehicle right now, but I could meet up with him. We could take like an Uber together or something. If he wants to come over here. Okay, great. So we're going to do that. Okay, Andy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send Wappy to you in an Uber and you're going to be with Wappy and then I'm going to get you to me because I, I don't like this. This is above and beyond. This is fucked up. This is very bad. I really told you I wanted to come there last night, remember? I didn't know. Like, So what happened, you guys, was Andy was like begging me to come and get him. And, but he's in Vegas. So, you know, I had work this week and I couldn't get him. But if I would have known that he was going to be like this, I would have done something. I didn't do anything, unfortunately. But he, you're going to, I fucked up. I should be in the hospital. I really should. Okay. All right. I fucked up. Obviously, I fucked up. Okay. No, so, I, but what did you do? I don't know what you I did. I didn't then. do anything. They just, they, they took care of 
stole, he mugged me and stole my shit, so my phone and my wallet. He stole everything. Okay. Luckily, All right. So, so like, you know, I told, I told Andy that the only way he could come to my place is if he turned his location services off, because I don't want anybody that he knows knowing where I am. Do you guys understand that? So he didn't turn his location off. I could see his location. So I know other people could see his location. I just can't have him here if his location is on and these people know where he is. So you have to promise me, I have to confiscate your phone. Look, the Bellagio is coming. Oh, shit. So I have to confiscate your phone. I'm sorry that I have to do that. But if you're here, you have no phone. You have no phone privileges, okay? You have no phone privileges. I have to take both your phones. No, you can't be like that. Come on. I have to call my daughter and my son. No, your daughter will understand. I will call her myself, and I'll tell yeah. her that I'm confiscating. Anyway, your my phone, the, the one I use is gone. I don't know where it is. No, but the, whatever phone you're on now, I know that people can find you. That's how you get beat up because people can see where you are. And I don't feel safe you being here with that phone. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to confiscate all your phones and all your devices. And then you could come here, but nobody can know where you are because it's dangerous for me. Uh, you, you guys see that? Char Charmin, do you see that I can't have him here unless everything's confiscated? <laughs> No, no, no. I understand completely, especially since his friends are dangerous. Yeah. But, but something has to happen because Andy, Andy hangs around with a very dangerous group of people consistently, and he's been hurt before. Lucas broke his ankle last year, and we yeah. don't know who beat him up, but he has been beaten badly, and he does need to go to the hospital. But, 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 but something has to happen to stop this cycle from continuing to repeat itself. The, the, the cycle has to be broken. The dangerous people have to be removed from your life, or you're going to continue to be in this situation where you're dealing with these Security issues, and these are very serious issues. Like this, this person was trying to kill him. Look at his yeah. face. His, his whole bed is, is covered in blood right now. <sighs> his whole bed is covered in blood. He sent me the pictures last night, and then this morning, I couldn't get a hold of him. <sighs> can can the, the hotel that you're in can surely just send send you to the hospital. They probably have shuttles there. They can just drive you to the hospital. Andy, why aren't you going to the hospital? They'll, they'll have painkillers there. I don't didn't think they could do it. I mean, what can you do? I don't. They're. They're. I don't know how badly that. I don't know if your jaw is broken. I don't know if you have teeth it's that are not. damaged. Did 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 your teeth go through your lip? Is that what? Is the skin uh -huh. been punctured there? You might need some stitches, Andy. There, there's, there's some things that a doctor can do. That I don't know what to worry about with blood clots and stuff. You should have medical attention. Yes, he was covered in blood this morning. He was covered, Andy. Okay, so Wappy is going to help me. I have somebody helping me. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Yeah, Andy, Andy needs to go to the hospital right now. This is Johnny B, man, gay wife. He's going to need stitches. But by the looks of that face, he needs a lot of help. Andy, get your ass to the damn hospital, son. Yeah, John. John, you're right. I don't have the money for it. That's why I said no. I, I will pay. Okay, okay, John. Okay, thank you, John. Thank you so much, Man Cave Live. Okay, so we um. Okay, so I will pay not for you to come to LA because that's like you know six hours, but I will pay for you to go to the hospital only. That's the only place I'll pay for you to go. So besides that, I don't have any money for you besides what the Uber to the. Hospital. What are they going to do at the hospital? I don't know. I I, I honestly don't know. Nothing. I like a cut, a really bad cut face. Where did uh, this happen? Where did they beat you up? Where were you? On the street. W were there witnesses? Uh, no, I was alone. So you were alone on the street and there was no witnesses and just one guy beat you up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right. And does that guy know where you're staying? No, I don't I don't know him. I I I, I literally do not know him. So it was a stranger. Do you think he recognized you or do you think it was just a random yeah. attack? 
Yeah. Oh, he recognized you. He said, you're Andy? Yeah. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get you to the yeah, hospital. Are you, are you okay with... Huh? Are you okay with going to the hospital? What are they... I don't have money. What are they going to do anyways? Like, No, you have insurance, Andy. Yeah. But what... But that's not, but I'm asking you, what are they going to do? I don't know. I don't know what's exactly wrong, but it looks really bad. It hurts. It hurts, it hurts really bad. I can't believe I... I fell asleep even. I think I fell asleep from pain. This cannot happen anymore. This happens too much. It. I'm never coming to Vegas again. Ever. And it's, yeah. I can feel it with my tongue. It's all cut all in my mouth. All the way through. Up here and down here. I'm really sorry that happened. It's not your fault. It's not my body. It was a stranger. He took my seat, took my phone. He took my... <sighs> Luckily, there was just some... I was going to go lay in an alley. And somebody... Recognized me and said, well, "We'll get you a room." And they just, you just missed them. They came to check on me, and I said, "Well, let me come hang out with you." And uh, they're like, "No." So they just bought your room and they left. They never came in the room. Yeah, no. They checked on me like literally about thirty minutes ago. <clears throat> and then I said, "Well, let's I, I, just let me get dressed and I'll come hang out." But they didn't. They didn't even want. People just they don't even want to hang out. I think they're scared, like because people are scared to hang out with you because you have all these dangerous people that are like. I think this guy tried to kill you. I mean, look at you. It's called the world. Okay, the world is dangerous. Seriously. world. What are we supposed to not be in the world? You must have been so scared. No. I don't really get scared. But I'm in pain. I, I hate the hospital. I don't want to I don't want to like spend hours. What can they do? Anyway, it's for real. What can they do? I don't know. I don't know what's exactly, like, what happened there. It doesn't look good. I've never seen somebody look like that. Oh, my God. It looks fake. It's not fake. It's really bad. <clears throat> I'm going to be disfigured. But Andy, a couple days ago, you were in a beautiful house eating tomahawk steak by the pool on a golf course. What happened? Like, ha why did you leave that house? Because they were done. Uh, it's they own that house, and they were they were air they were going to Airbnb it to other people, and they left. You know, Vegas. So they they left you in Vegas alone with no money and no car and no ID. Yeah. These are not good friends, uh, Andy. These are bad people. No. Very. Uh, they were strangers I just met. You know? No, they weren't. It was your friend, the girl that you're friends with. That's who you went with. Oh. I don't even want to say her fucking name. I really don't like her. She's evil. Evil. I don't know what 
to do? What am I, what am I, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to stay put. You're supposed to stay put there and not move because Wappy's going to come to get you. Uh, yes, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Hey, Andy, it's your old buddy, Stuttery John Melendez. Do you want me to fly down to Las Vegas and we can find these guys and uh, beat the hell out of them and then we'll enjoy a Coors Light together? <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you. Hey, you know, he's trying. Okay, so um, okay, so we're gonna arrange this for you. Um oh my God. you just have to really follow some rules. <clears throat> you have to follow a couple rules. Um, and one of the rules is you have to give me both phones. That that's that's the main rule, and then that's it. Because that's the main thing that I'm, I've been afraid of is people being able do you to think that Maybe they, do you think they have my phone like downstairs? I don't know. Maybe the people that got me the room took my phone. I just, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm so discombobulated. I, I, I think I got knocked out. So you got knocked out on the street and no one helped you? No. It's Vegas. I hate Vegas. That's why I never come here. My friend hung himself. I I told you not to go to Vegas, Andy. I said it's the sure. worst place for you. It's the worst possible place. Vegas is horrible for everybody, but especially you. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. It's really bad. You should not be in Vegas, Andy. You should not be in Vegas. Okay, okay. So we're going to end the show. Obviously, we have to do some things. We'll hear one more song from Wappy. Uh, there's going to be the wrap-up show after this show. Um, it's going to be a quick wrap-up show today because uh, Wheezy has things to do. Um, let's just go to Wheezy real fast. Uh, Wheezy, what do you what do you think you're going to discuss today? Um, first of all, Andy, I'm so fucking sorry. I think you need to go to the hospital immediately, dude. You don't know what's going on. You need what to get anti- do anyways. But they could at least give you antibiotics. You don't know what kind of infection you have brewing. You don't know if your teeth went through your mouth. You have to go to the hospital. You have to. You can yeah. get an infection and lose your lip. What are you going to do when you lose your lip? You're a fucking TV star. You have to do this. Do it for everyone else if you're not going to do it for yourself. Um, the wrap-up show is going to be short. We're just going to talk about Bob being a rascal. We're going to talk about Andy. We're going to talk about your new place and how wonderful you are. That's what we're going to do. Thank you. Oh, Wheezy's so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Wheezy. I'm looking forward to the wrap-up show today. Um, obviously, you know, um, we try to support each other here, right? So so um, a lot of people, like, say to me, you know, why, you know, why deal with these things, right? It's very difficult. This is a very hard thing to deal with. There's no <coughs> easy answer. I'm just going to call her. Uh, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Um, hey, Alicia, it's Craig. I know you are the um, rapper of the program. I just wanted to um, like, send you out like, a load of love from the UK because it looks like you've had a hell of a week and loads of craziness going on. And I just hope you're all right and I'm rooting for you. Thank you for your support, Dave. Um, I see you're killing it on like social media and you know with your radio and your magazines and continued success for you. You're such a positive guy, and uh, we just really love you here, Dave. I don't want to go out in public. I'm afraid. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for calling, Dave. Okay, that was Dave Robinson. I'm sorry, just a little distracted right now. Keep him away from an open window. Uh, a lot of people are writing just concerned about you, Andy. You know, I don't know if you know how, like, loved you are and, like, appreciated you oh, are. Oh, look, now. the Jonas Brothers are playing here. And Lady Gaga. Should I go to, will that make my lip feel better? I mean, she's pretty oh, good, God. yeah. Um, okay, so so after this show, we're going to have a wrap-up show with Charmin and Wheezy and the people from here. I hope everybody joins that wrap-up show. Um, and I just want to say, like, you know, I've thought about giving up on, you know, Andy here like, many times, right? And uh, just ending it. Um, but I was at the hair salon. I was at the hair salon yesterday, and they, you know, it was it was hard to make conversation uh, with the guy that was doing my hair, kind of like he wasn't that chatty. But then Andy called me on FaceTime, and this is before he got beat up. And he brings out a side of me. I was so excited that he called, 
And I was so happy. It was so funny because I was wearing like a shower cap. And, uh, you know, it was funny having Andy see me like that. And he just brings out some great. <laughs> oh, God. My nose is bleeding. And he just brings out such a great side of me. And I was, I just get so excited. When he calls. I get so excited when he calls and I just think he's so special and just a gift to the world. His talent is a gift to the world. Oh, this is how I get rewarded. So, this is how I get rewarded. <sighs> Really? I don't know. I don't know how. I hate everybody in my life. No. Just getting another caller. Kermit and Friends, how can I help you? Hey, so it's Born Mush here. Hey, Born Mush. Uh, Andy's jaw is broken. He needs to put ice on it immediately. He should be ice. <laughs> um, but he, he also needs to go to the, like. What? He needs to go to the hospital. His he needs stitches in his top lip for sure, and um, he they might have to wire his jaw or something for a little while. Um, does he remember getting kicked on the floor? Because that that it looks too hard to be a punch. Like I, don't I was think thinking that was the same thing. I was thinking the same thing. I think he was kicked. I think the guy was trying to kill him. This is so fucked up, Mush. This is not good. Does he know? Is he going to file charges on the guy? I don't know if he knows who the guy is. I I don't. Oh, he doesn't man. know who the guy is. He doesn't know how the guy is. The cops he came. Him to go to the hospital. That's the first step. And then he, uh, I don't want to go into the rest of it, but he just needs a hospital ASAP. He, he, he's sitting in a hotel room doing nothing. He should be in yeah, the hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Mush. Love you, Mush. Thank no you problem. so much. Uh, yeah, Kermit and friends, how can I help you? Hi. Can we get a room number for Andy so I can tell hotel security because they're looking for him? Okay, Andy, what's your room number? Get your room number, sweetheart. Okay. Go to the door. Oh, it's called blood splotch and blood spatter. Room. No, Andy, go room to the number, door. Room number blood oh. everywhere. Go to the door, sweetheart. No, I saw the room came here. Thank you, sugar. Thank you for doing this. Of course, I want to keep him and take care of him. They, they already know. What three, is it, four, Andy? Three, four, five, four. Three, four, five, four. Three, four, five, four. Uh, it looks like three, August. Four, five, uh, Augustus I Tower. I security back. Okay, it's like Augustus you. Tower. Okay, all right. Thank you, Sugar. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Safe. Okay, great. Okay, so Sugar uh, called security. Okay, this is going to be good. You're going to go to the hospital. Um, Wappy's going to help gonna you. They're going to clean you up? I don't know, Andy. I've never been in this situation before. I don't know. This is a first for me. Yeah. This is a first for me. I'm doing yeah. my best, okay? All right. So uh, this is Not a first for me. But it, it should not be a reoccurring thing, this happening. This should not be reoccurring. And, and we shouldn't have to always I have. I was just in the world. Walking around alone. But the problem is, is this happens all the time. And, you know, we shouldn't have to rely on the good people here, like, to help us all the time, right? Like, I'm constantly tweeting to help. Huh. Linda, can I call you back? I'm just doing my show right now. Okay. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I think we should end the show. Um, you know, thank you guys. I think they they were calling just to say get out. All right, I think we should end. Um, you know, I just want to say to everyone, you know, thank you so much for contributing and being there for me and being there for Andy. Cause like sometimes, you know, we need help, you know, and, and, and Andy, I don't think he's somebody that is afraid to ask for help. I, I don't think he's that, you know, he's asking for help now. No, and not. I don't need help. I don't, I don't even want to go to the hospital. They're, they're not going to be, 
able to do anything. Well, you should talk to the police. You should talk to the police. You should talk to the I house. did. What did the, the police, police say? police came, and I, the guy, I didn't know who it was, and he, he left. He was not around. I don't know him. He was just a stranger. But it was a stranger? Like, yes. But how did you end up with that stranger when you were with two friends, and they were cooking you a steak the night before? I don't get that. How did you no. go from the... No, no, I... No, I was not with them anymore. I was by myself. And you know who else, and I don't. I feel, I honestly actually feel like I got set up. Uh, let, me, let me see. What the, they're just going to tell me to get out, I know. Do you have any water there? Can you drink water? No. No, I can't get it. I can't get into the bar. I I drank tap water. I can't. I'm drooling. I'm drooling blood and mucus. Isn't it pretty though? At least. Yeah. It is. All right, so hopefully um, some people are coming wish, to help. You wish? I wish you were here. I wish I just never even came here, to be honest. I wanted to go see a show. I wanted to go see <clears throat> Donny Osmond. Because he's got a, you know, I, I saw, their, I, I saw Don, the Donny and Marie thing. I'm a, a big fan and the 70s and then now he has his own like it's just him Donnie Osmond oh, I was gonna go see that see I would love to do something like that with you Andy I would love that's what that. I was trying to do uh, you, you think I was trying to go out and get beat to fucking high hell fuck this shit <laughs> fuck it I don't want to go out anymore ever ever anyone Oh, look, oh, look, I'm right across the street from Louis Vuitton and Dior and Chanel and Fendi and Harry Winston. Huh? And then you got me across the street. There's nothing they can do. I'm not going to hospital. I'm not going. There's nothing they can do. What can you do to, to this? Baby. Really? I don't know, but whoever did that, like... I don't know the person. It's, yeah. it's very like you, bad. It's like you don't believe me, but I don't know that person. It was a random black guy, and that's not racist, you know, it just he was black. He didn't look good. He, it was like he just busted me open, took my own. But this, you know, I hate to like blame this on like you, Andy, but like you were with two very like very weird bad kind of people and and that's how you uh, got to Vegas, oh, Andy. Hang on. Hello? Did you call security? Hello? Hello? Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you're really in pain right now. Are they taking you to the hospital, Andy? Sure, yeah. Like 100% yes. Why? Okay, great. Because you most likely have either something broken, you're going to need a couple stitches. Uh, I got a hand. Is our, you're on it, her show. Okay. Can How I can I hang up, baby, please? Right. Yes, Andy. I'm going to have Wabby pick you up at the hospital, okay, sweetheart? I'm hanging up, okay? I'm hanging up. Okay, love you. I'm hanging up.
I love you, dude. Um. You got hit off the top of you, correct? Or you're just trying to redo it for Yeah. Okay. On the street. Some guy, just some random guys. Okay. And you some random guy. Can you look at it? Yes. Absolutely. What would you like me to look at? He got hit last night. Some guys beat him up last night. Um, you can see from the bed right there. This happened last night? You're okay. I'm going to help you, okay? Where did it happen? On the street. Yeah. Is it bad? Can you look at it? It's I'm going to look at it right now. Is that the only thing yeah. that hurts? Is your mouth? Yeah. I, and my jaw is not broke. So I said it. I broke my jaw. It's not broke. I can tell. I would not be able to talk. But look at the um, look. It's up here. You don't have to whisper. I'm with you, but look up. It's up here. I got and you. under here. All right. Yeah, I'm just worried about your neck, your back, any other injuries anywhere. No. Don't move too fast, okay? No, no, no. All right, sir. I'm gonna grab your lip and kind of pull it out. Oh, okay? Nothing on the head. Ow. I know, but I got my teeth, okay? All right, the bleeding is stopped, okay? So now it's just part of that healing process. I don't need stitches that way, or... Uh, you might have some infection, sir, and this is still leaking on you a little bit. I know, it's bad. Can I put a little pressure on there? Yeah. Okay. Just on this top lip, okay? All right. All righty, sir. I can feel that it's cut here. At the very top? Uh, can you fold that lip up for me? Here you go. Here you go. And I'm just going to use my pinky as well, okay? Do you see? Wait. I definitely see where there was a cut, sir. Oh, uh, here. Yeah. Yes, sir. You. I would advise you go get that looked at, sir, but oh, it is why? not actively bleeding. Okay. And down here. The only open laceration, sir, is outside your lip on the top, okay? Yeah, that's going all the way through. Just so you know. Okay. I can feel it. Andy, do you remember where this happened to you at? Just on the street. Do you know, do you know where at on the street? No, I but it would. Do you know where you were coming from? Or I see you got a little uh, placard there where you're coming from like a, a VIP event? Yeah, it was. Okay, did this happen last night? Yeah. Yeah. It happened quickly. Quickly? And they, took my, my, they took my other phone. Oh, they took oh, your other phone? Oh. And you said you spoke with Metro? Yeah, they all came. They yeah. tried to help me. I'm like, well, I don't know why you can. I don't know who the person is. Do you know about what time last night it happened? Uh, no. No? I go to bed early later, so it's not doing my Okay. I'm just guessing. And you said it happened out on the strip? Yeah. Like literally right here somewhere. Like on this? Because this isn't the strip. Well, this is Flamingo Road. The strip's over here. It's going to be right over here. Well, yeah. Somewhere around here. Okay. I, I was alone. Do you remember what event you were at? Yes. So we could try to piece it together. And that's going to hurt. I don't even okay. know what that is. No. Negative. Yeah, it doesn't have that name on it, but I can try to look it up. Oh, it's safe. M-M-L. For your magic, okay, I can look it up for you. You're good. I apologize. I just got to put a little pressure, okay? I'm going to try and clean it up a little bit, too, so we can see the pool. I just wanted to go see. I really just was trying to go see Penn and Heller. Have you done any drinking this morning? No, yes. Yeah, One what's that? Sip. What's that? Whiskey. You Whiskey? can see it. Was it, uh, was it filled right up there. to the very, very top? Look at it. I got gotcha. you. Your glass. Was that one no, filled up? You can see it. Yeah. yeah. I, I only did it for this. The pain? Yeah. It's killing me. Um, I got you. Do you want to hold this or do you want me to hold it? Why? Just to put a little pressure on the open laceration still, okay? Magic mic. Yeah. Is that okay? okay? If you hold it, you gotta promise to put pressure on there, okay? Magic mic. That see those these are all the shows I wanna go see. 